Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we are going to start a series on doubly linked list. So first we'll see about the creation of linked list like how can we create a doubly linked list. So the difference is that in linked list we only have the next node while in doubly linked list we also have the previous node. So the benefit we get from it is that like in, link, in linked list many a times we need the previous node to do some calculations right but here we don't need because we have the pointer of the previous node so basically we can directly go through the previous node right and and also it has the faster access faster traversal due to of the previous node so due to of it it has some advantage so we are adding one pointer but we are adding many advantage so that is why the importance of double link list so now we'll see that how we can create and we'll use the uh, coding language as java so now our aim is to create this link list right at the starting we have the uh, like 12 then 99 then 37 5 and 25 right so first of all we'll create a class node where we'll have the integer data and then we'll have the next and then we'll have the previous right so that will be my class node so for that what I have done, I have created a class node where I have int data, node next and node previous, right? And the node class is itself, right? So this is one node, you can say this is one node. So like 12, this is one node and one node consists next, previous and the data itself, right? So now when we are going to start, so at the starting we have the head node which is null, right? So we'll say that if head node is null, we are passing, it means there is no node in, in linked list. So simply return get new node, right? And in get new node, what we are doing, we are creating a uh, object of the node class, node a equals to new node. And then we are inserting the data i, which we are passing from it. And then we are saying next is null and previous is null and return a, right? So that is why you can see that first of all we are initializing the double link list then we are saying that head is null at the starting and then we are inserting the first node right so in insert function we are passing the value which we are going to start and which we are and this is why uh, this is my link list right this is my node the head node so it's it says that if node equals to null then simply you need to return the new node right so it will go here and it will create the data and next previous null and it will return right so at the starting when i will print 12 so basically it will return me the only 12 node right so i have the 12 where next is null and previous is null right so now when i will pass the new the next node 99 and the head which is my the double linked list head so again it will go here and it will check that if in node is null so node is not null now because we have 12 so our aim is to basically reach till here so what we'll do we'll we'll uh, we'll take a while loop and we'll check until node of next is not null right and when node of next is null so we'll reach till last node of the linked list right so like in this case at the first our 12 is the only single node in linked list so here the next is null right so basically here you can see that uh, uh, so uh, this is the temp variable which i am storing because i will need it at the last so that i can return the head node and i will do all the calculations on node so i am checking if while node of next is not null node equals to node of next so increase the node by one position by doing next right and when you have the node of next is null so i create a new node then i assign the previous of that node to the node and then node of next to a right so basically what it will do uh, like this is 99 so it will it will have this so it will create the 99 and at the last what i'm doing i'm checking that that assign the previous value of the 99 to the node and the node of next to the this variable temp right so by this so by this they they will assign the their link their pointers right 
सो एंड एट द लास्ट आई एम रिटर्निंग हैड बिकॉज हैड इज द हैड पॉइंटर ऑफ द डब्ल्यू लिंक लिस्ट सो इट विल रिटर्न मी हैड नाउ अगेन वेन इट विल इंसर्ट द थर्टी सेवन सो इन द थर्टी सेवन आल्सो बिकॉज हैड बिकॉज नॉट इज नॉट नल सो नाउ इट विल गो टू बिकॉज नॉट ऑफ नेक्स्ट इज अगेन नॉट नल दिस इज नॉट नल दिस इज नाइन्टी नाइन सो अगेन इट विल गो हेयर इट विल गो नॉट इक्वल टू नॉट ऑफ नेक्स्ट सो नाउ नॉट इज हेयर सो नाउ हेयर आवर नॉट ऑफ नेक्स्ट इज नल राइट सो अगेन इट विल डू द सेम थिंग इट विल क्रिएट ए न्यू नोड एंड देन इट विल असाइन दी दिस नॉड ऑफ प्रीवियस टू दी नॉड एंड द नॉड ऑफ नेक्स्ट टू दी प्रीवियस राइट सो दिस विल टेक केयर ऑफ द लिंकिंग पार्ट सो अगेन दिस विल हैपन फॉर द रेस्ट टू पोजिशंस राइट सो बाय दिस वे वी कैन क्रिएट आवर डब्ली लिंक लिस्ट सो बेसिकली वी आर एडिंग द नोट्स एट द एंड राइट सो आई शो यू बाय यूजिंग द डिबग वेदर इट इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली ओ नॉट so at the starting i am initializing the head node by null now i am checking go here so now node is null right so it will go in get new node so now it will initialize the value a a of data is i then next is null previous is null and return a right so now our head is so you if you see so now our linked list is 12 we have the single node and where our next is null and the previous is null right now we'll again go in the insert for the new node and here uh, we'll assign the head with the link list head so now head is 12 and we'll check until node of next is not null so now it is null so again we'll create a new node and we'll assign a so you can see now a is 99 which is uh, next and previous both are null now so now we'll assign a dot previous is not and node of next is a right so if you see the a so now a the previous of a is assigning to 12 and what is not so earlier node was only 12 and the next was null so now node of next is 99 right so by this way we can uh, create the second node so now uh, it will it will return me head which is obviously the first node of the linked list now again it will go for the 37 so you can see that it it will first initialize the node of node equals to node of next and then uh, it will go here because now node of next is null so we'll create a new node we'll again assign the previous of to the node and the node of next is a right and then at the end we'll return the head so this will happen for the 5 and the 25 as well so if you see at the head so you can see that at last we have assigned the next is again 99 the 99 next is 37 the 37 next is 5 and the next of 5 is 12 25 and at the last the next is null right because the last the last next will be null and the first node of previous will be null otherwise it won't be null so you can see uh, the 99 the previous 99 is pointing to 12 right uh, the 37 the previous of 37 is pointing to 99 right so now we have the two pointers the next pointer which is pointing to next node and the previous pointer which is pointing to the previous node right so by adding the nodes at the end we have created a double link list the complexity of adding each node to the end of link list is big of n because we are basically traversing the link list till the end and then we are adding the node right so that's it guys we have added the each node to the linked list and we have created a double linked list and in next tutorials we'll see that uh, how we can add the node at the starting or how we can add at any given position so please see those videos and thanks for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you